my amazing friends. I'm Jody. Welcome back to The Speeded Life. And I'm here because I'm super excited to do the unboxing for Bargain Bead Boxes October 2024. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this around. I opened it, but I didn't really peek too much, okay? So <laughs> I think a lot of it's going to be a surprise. I did watch the Bargain Bead Box, um, where she does her little sneak peek, because I can never resist. I'm trying so hard to resist you guys, but I always have to do just a tiny little spoiler, just a tiny little spoiler. Sometimes I go full on unboxing and I watch everybody's unboxings because I want everybody's opinions before I get mine. But here I am. Just watch the sneak peek. Um, I actually, I did watch, nope, I take that back. I did watch Laura's unboxing over at Rustic Dragonfly. So I did watch hers because um, I had it on at work. So I didn't get to see all of it. I kind of like peeked down, looked up, peeked down because I was listening to it more than anything. Listening to my friends speak helps me do my job. Don't ask me how, but it does. All right, guys, that's enough talking. I'm gonna turn this around. I'll be right back. Okay, everyone. October 2024's Bargain Beadbox is Leafy Landscape. It says, this earthy palette showcases the abstract beauty of Picasso Jasper with its gorgeous linear patterns and audible colors reminiscent of a late fall horizon. Pumpkin, leaf, and pine cone motif motifs add to the autumn theme. With sparkling accents and a selection of findings and antique bronze, this cozy combination makes me want to curl up with a good book and sip some tea. All right, you guys. So Leafy Landscapes is what it is. So I'll tell you a little bit while I'm opening this up. So Bargain Bead Box is a subscription box that comes to your house monthly. It's $22.99 a month. That includes the shipping. And just for example, this one here is um, approximate total retail value is $81.82. And it really is one of the best... Um, deals out there as, as far as the subscription boxes and what you get for your buck. I mean, you get a big bang for your buck. And it's perfectly curated every month. There's always a theme. It's so fun. And it's a great way for you as a beginner to start building your stash, get some ideas, get some little things that you may not have thought of to buy. Um, it's great for the season beater to replenish your stash and give you some challenges. I know there's some times where I get different color beads that I'm not comfortable with the color and it pushes me outside of my comfort zone. But you can save $2 if you go to the description right below this video, click on my link and put in the promo code Jody 2 at checkout and it'll save you $2 on your first month. All right, so here we go. I am not going in any particular order. I'm just gonna grab, we're gonna do all the beads first and then we will do the rest. All right, so first we have eight millimeter Rainbow Picasso Jasper Round Beads, 15 inch strand. So this is beautiful. I saw quite a few, there, there were some like really lighter colors. I got some of the really dark, richer colors and I'm super excited about that. There are some really deep, like almost chocolatey browns and really nice dark moss greens in mine. I love this. I do have a couple of light ones, like here's this beautiful yellow one, which has some really cool swirl patterns on it. And being an eight millimeter, that's a really good size bead to allow all these different variations to come through on the bead. Absolutely gorgeous. Next we have 10 millimeter Rainbow Picasso Jasper Rounds, and you get a seven and a half inch strand. Okay, so now we have the 10 inch beads and you can see uh, there's our, there's even more richer colors. Like I got some really deep charcoals. Look at this bead here, you guys. Look at how beautiful that is. I love the variety that this rainbow Picasso Jasper gives us. I mean, look at this. I mean, it just gives you such a great variety that you can use them all together. You can use them separate however you want to do it it's going to look fantastic all right now we have eight by six millimeter hematite man-made hematite corrugated pumpkin beads in bronze and you get seven and a half inches Ooh, these are fun Ooh, i like the way these feel oh these are nice you guys 
check those out. Those are some cool beads. I have never seen this before in um, a hematite or a man-made hematite. So that is super unique and super fun. Love that. All right, so next we have six by four millimeter crystal faceted rondelle beads in light green with bronze iris. And you get a 15 inch strand of these beautiful crystals. Mine's a little tangled up here. Let me get it untangled. Oh, that's pretty. That green with that flashy bronze. Look at that sparkle, you guys. And then all those little beautiful facets to boot. That is gorgeous. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Love that. Okay, next we have 5 0.5 millimeter crystal faceted English cut round beads in evergreen AB. I was so excited about seeing these in person because they looked amazing on camera. But you know, whatever you see on camera looks even better in person. But look at these. Look at that sparkle. Like I'm not even moving my hand and it is just glimmering. That is so pretty. Oh, I love those. Let's see, we have more beads here. We have Rainbow Picasso Jasper Rectangle Nuggets, and you get a seven and a half inch strand. So here are some really nice nuggets, and they're like, they're, they are freeform, but they are better than freeform because they have a very consistent size, I think. So I love this. They're different, like there's a few different like shapes, like some are a little bit thinner or more rounded um, than others, but very, very pretty. And these, to me, don't have as many of the striations as the round ones do, but that's okay because those round ones make up for what this one doesn't have. And I wanted something that was going to be a little neutral um, of a gemstone to go with all of that anyway. So this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, next we have 4 millimeter faceted agate. These are dyed and heated round beads and you get a 14 and a half inch strand. Oh, these are pretty. These are really, really, really pretty. And the facets on them are so small, but look at that. Those are gorgeous. There's a few less orange in here and a lot more of that, like that opaque white to clear, which I can really embrace being that there's so much color in this box already, this just gives you that little bit of like, like I guess like subtlety is what I'm thinking of. All right, four millimeter crystal faceted bicone beads in blue green iris. So we're adding a little bit of blue to this, blue green, which is really nice because you know, one thing that goes really well with brown is blue. It goes so good with browns. And this isn't like a blue blue. This is really, really pretty. It's like little diamonds. All right, then we have, getting into some of our findings now. <clears throat> oh, nope, I missed some beads, hold on. We have four piece, 10 by 15 carved Malaysian jade, which is dyed quartz, pumpkin beads. <clears throat> so these have that really cute little pumpkin shape. You can make a cute little pair of earrings out of them. Um, you can, you know, just pretty much use them anywhere. You get four of them and they're so cute. So adorable. Okay, you've got those. Oh, and then we have our 33 by 18 Rainbow Picasso Tab Pendant. Ooh. Guys, look at how greenish mine is. <sighs> I love, love, love. It's like it's like a grayish, <clears throat> excuse me, like a grayish green. Like it matches this strand like perfectly. Look at that. Wow, that's so cool. It's always so fun to get these pe these pendants because every single one of us gets something totally different, and it's so fun. I'd love to go on and see what everybody has made with it and check out their pendants because it's so super cool. 
Okay, and I was really excited about this because I had bought these before. Um, you get two pieces, 35 by 20 millimeter leaf pendants. And of course, all their metal is lead-free, nickel-free, cadmium-free. And these are just beautiful. I love the way they're like folded. It gives them that realistic look. And the veins in them are so pretty. You even have them on the back. So those are super gorgeous. Then we have um, two piece, 22 by 17 millimeter leaf detail chandelier links. Oh, these are so cute. These are even prettier up close. They have this really beautiful little leaf pattern and it's a one to three um, strand. So you could do like a, like a, a multi-strand bracelet. Um, you could do, uh, you know, use them for earrings, like do cute little like dangly earrings or, you know, maybe a multi-strand necklace. There's so many possibilities that you could do with those cute little guys. All right, so I saw this get opened and I was so excited about it. So this is a super hold magnetic oval clasp. It is 17 millimeters and it's brass. So you're not supposed to be able to pull it apart. You know how you can slide magnetic ones apart? This one you have to open like by that little notch because it has these little notches in here that this one fits in there, this one fits in there, and it makes it so it doesn't just like slide apart. So this would be good even with like a heavier duty like bracelet or necklace. So that's really cool. I'm looking forward to using that guy. All right, we have some bead caps, seven millimeter bumpy six petal um, bead caps. And you get quite a few, it looks like. Probably, probably around 20, 24, maybe 30, something like that. Doesn't say on the package, but that's okay. So this is what they look like. And they're a really great size. They're not too big and they're not too small. They'll fit on a lot of great beads. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. All right, then we have 30 pieces, five millimeter corrugated barrel spacer beads. So you get 30 of these spacer beads. Oh, mine's got like a little stick in it. <laughs> um, so here they are. I love these kind of spacers, they're so cool. They kind of give you like a bigger space in between things. So if you're looking for something like that to give you just a little more of a gap between your beads, these are perfect for that. And the design on them is just really cute. Love those. Love those. I was just thinking the other day too, I'm like, oh gosh, I really could just use some more spacers. Well, like last week I went on the sister store to use my 30% off coupon, which by the way, you get a 30% off coupon when you subscribe that you can use the entire month long as many times as you want. Um, and I went on there knowing that I wanted spacers, but then I'm like, oh, but there's all those new things that came out that I've been wanting to see. <laughs> I think I maybe got like four spacers, four different spacers, and the rest of it was all but just new stuff. <clears throat> all right, so next is 10 pieces of 15 by nine millimeter leaf links. These are so cute. These have come back before. Um, love these. I have bought them on my own before. Um, they're really fun to use. They make great earrings. They make great links for your necklaces or your bracelets. Just super fun to have. So those are awesome. And you get 10 of them, so that's really great. Okay, then we have, oh, these are so cute. 10 pieces, 13 by seven millimeter pine cone charms. Oh my goodness, look at these. These are so cute. Oh, I love the detail in these. These are the cutest little charms. Oh, I love little pine cones. It's cute. Okay, now next we have some cool stuff that I'm just gonna end up showing you, but I'm gonna put some of this back in the bag so I don't lose it all. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we have five grams mixed brass jump rings. This is really great. This is kind of like a little extra that they that they gave us. It's not even on the like it's not a number on the list. So here's some little extra 
gift that they give you. Um, a whole bunch of assorted sizes of jump rings, which is really awesome because I know that like I'm out of all these little teeny tiny ones in this color. So this just replenished me for some of my little teeny tiny ones. I'll probably still have to order more, but I love having a nice variety of sizes. And again, if you're just starting out, this is a great find, something like this, because you may not really want to get, you know, a hundred of each size. So until you find out like what you really want to use, everyone has their, their things that they like. All right, so next we have some ear wires, and this is just another little bonus. So there's 10 pieces nickel-free uh, brass ear wires, and these are your basic um, ear wires. Really nice to have. I love having extra ear wires. Um, I don't order them very often because I usually have so many, and then by the time I get to ordering them, I'm like, oh, I'm out of this color, or because I went on like a silver kick, so I'm out of all the silver ones, or... All right, and the last thing on our list was number 17, and this is four by 2.7 oval jewelry chain, one meter, and you get one whole meter. That's a lot, you guys. It really is a lot of chain. So let me just show you, like, like this is a lot. You can do a few things with that, absolutely. And I love the size of these links. They're not super teeny tiny. They definitely can fit a jump ring through it, um, so which is great. So if you wanted to do dangles or anything like that, you wouldn't have any problem doing that. Um, but the link is, is also not too large where you feel like you have to do a bunch of stuff in each link just to fill it up. So um, this is a perfect size. All right, guys, so that is our bargain bead box leafy landscapes for October 2024. Um, stay tuned and I will design something with you. I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I'm back. I have 25 inches of my Beadalon um, bead stringing wire in bronze. So I have that. Um, from my stash, I have some wire guardians, crimps, crimp covers, and this cute little frame toggle. I'm using three of the jump rings from the box. We're gonna use some of these hematite pumpkins. We're gonna use one of these Malaysia Jade pumpkins, a pine cone charm, two of the evergreen AB beads, some of the bead caps, one of these leaf pendants, and the eight and 10 millimeter um, rainbow Picasso Jasper. So. Um, I want to do a front closure collar uh, style necklace, so or collar size necklace, so it'll send your like your collarbone type deal. And what how we're going to do this is, so in my mind, I'm wanting the smaller beads around the back. So we are going to start from the back of the necklace, coming around to the front. Okay. So we have a lot more of the eight millimeter beads, so we're gonna use a lot of the eight millimeter beads in the back. And this is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go ahead and just string on a bunch of these eight millimeter beads along the back. I'm not putting anything in between them, just straight stringing. And I'll let you know how many I end up using. I'm on six. I think we'll do five more beads, that'll be 20, and I'll see where this is sitting. Um, I have like a certain idea in my head here. I just lost count because I was talking. Hold on, five, 10, 15, one more. So there's 20, I'll put those aside for a second. All right, so the back of our necklace is gonna have the eight millimeter beads. And I think, 
I want to use just a couple more. So we have 20 on there right now. So let's do two more on each side. So it'd be a total of 24 of the eight millimeter beads on this 25 inches of strand. And I'm not picking certain ones. I'm just picking them up and stringing them on. Okay, just like that. So on one side of this necklace, I want there to be um, this little guy, some of these hematite beads. It's probably gonna be kind of a weighty necklace, but that's okay. What do I do with those two little AB ones? Oh, there they are. All right, so we have those. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put on this bead cap going that way, okay? Just stop to stop the eight millimeter. That's what we're doing. And then we're gonna put on one of these little green beads. And we're gonna do one, two, Uh, let's see, five, and then our pumpkin bead. And then we'll do five more. Okay, and then we'll do our green. All right, and then we will do you know what, I kind of, I think I kind of want to do some more eight millimeter because I want this to come down a little bit further. I'm going to grab some more of those eight millimeter beads. I have one here. So instead of doing 25, why don't we do 30 of the eight millimeter? Okay. So I know we're kind of double tapping here. We're hitting both sides, right? But that's okay because I want this to be a certain way. Once I finish stringing these on, we'll look at it again and I will show you um, what I'm thinking here. Okay, so what I'm wanting to happen is that comes around the back, right? That's where the eight millimeters beads are. So it goes around the back of the neck. Let's put our bead cap on there. And then we have this beautiful like little segment off to the side that has all the, like the little pumpkin shapes and then the faceted shape here. So we have like a little bit of like a focal that's gonna be, it's gonna be asymmetrical. And then on this side, I want to do the 10 millimeter beads. And we're just gonna bead these on. Nothing in between them. You know, I think I want a couple more of those, those evergreen beads now that I'm thinking about it. Gonna be super gemstony, you guys. This is gonna be so many gemstones, all in one. And I've been wanting a necklace like this. I was gonna do it with a um, with tiger eye the other day, and um, I just kind of ran out of time. And then I was like, well, let me just see what what um, my bead subscription boxes ends up bringing me because maybe it'll be like. Oh, here's a gift for you. <laughs> you wanted to make the style necklace, so here's the beads that you need. All right, let's put some on here, but what we wanna do, since it's right next to that little green guy, let's put on one of these bead caps. All 
And we'll do like four over here, a bead cap, and one of these. All right, now I'm gonna use my little um, stopper here for a second because I want to see how this will end up laying. So I think I wanted to put one more on here, put a bead cap on. Put a little green one on here. All right, so now we have our necklace. All right, now we just need to attach all of our stuff. So we have our leaf pendant, our little charm. We have all of our little goodies here. So let me just dump those out. And we'll start with this side. We're going to put our crimp tube on. And unfortunately, I don't have any French wire in antique bronze. So we're gonna use a wire guardian because this is gonna be kind of a heavier necklace. And we're going to um, string that right onto our this part of our toggle clasp. And feed that into our toggle and our green bead. You know, I'm looking at this toggle and I'm like, is that gonna work for me? Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, I'm just gonna think about it for a second. All right, so now that we have that, let's see if I can grab a hold of it right. I'm gonna crimp down our crimp tube. This one's wanting to roll on me. Sometimes they do that, they want to roll on you and I don't know why. All right, so now I left a little bit of a gap and that's because I'm gonna be using these crimp covers. Because this is gonna be at the front of the necklace, I just want it to look like kind of seamless, you know? So put that little crimp cover on. Whoops. Try not to break any beads. And just slowly close it. There we go. And then we can trim off our little tail here. So we no longer need that. So there's one side. And then we have the other side that we need to do. Um, I want it to be with the little toggle hole down at the bottom. So we're gonna actually like string it through this. So it's probably gonna be more like this, kind of like that but we're gonna see how it works, okay? So I'm sure it'll be fine. Put our crimp on, put our wire guardian on. Actually, we probably could put it through the hole. I wanted something, a different shape, so I'm, that's why I wanna use this one. I want it just to be different because we have a lot of round. Well, let's try putting it through the hole and let's see how this ends up working out for us. I'm sure no matter what, it's gonna be fine. Um, we're gonna have some dangles hanging off of it so it'll give it some weight too and everything. So it'll probably be fine. All right. And let's pull that down. And I think I might do a bead dangle as well with this green. We can crimp our crimp tube. Okay, I'll see how that one didn't roll around on me. I'm surprised. All right, so put our crimp cover on. It gets a little fiddly when you're trying to get in these little spaces with things. At least it does for me. And then let's close our crimp cover.
guys, I think fall is actually here. It's been nice and like cool. It hasn't been freezing. It's been nice and cool and just super comfortable. Cool enough to have cozy clothes and it just, I love cozy clothes. All right, so this is how it's gonna end up hanging, right? Just like this. So I think that's gonna be okay. That's gonna be fine. Cause then what we'll do is we'll hang our little dangles from this side. So it'll kind of sit like that. But I really do think I wanna add little, this little green bead like on a, um, on a head pin. So let me grab the head pin real quick here. We're right back. Okay, I'm back. All right, so I got one of my smaller head pins and we're just going to put our little bead right on there. And then we need our round nose pliers and we're going to just do a nice little wrapped loop right on here because we're gonna hang everything with a jump ring. There we go. Trim that off. All right, so now we have all of our cute little things that we're gonna hang on here. So we need our pliers and our bent nose pliers. I wonder if we can get away with just, let's see, let's do the big one like this. Close that up. Oh my goodness gracious. Those are some good jump rings, guys. They're nice and sturdy. All right, so then we have our cute little pine cone and our little bead, and I think we'll hang it right from the jump ring for the um, leaf. So let's just put them both on the same jump ring. Just gives it another little dangle. And there we go. Let me lay this out so you can see it. There is our necklace. And I'm going to try it on for you guys. So hold on one second. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, here it is. I think it turned out really cute. This toggle ended up working out great with this. Get a little closer so you can see it. But yeah, it looks really pretty. And I love the asymmetrical like style here. We're still using all the same bead back here, but just in a different size. And then we have the hematite with our little pumpkin and then our cute little pendant right here. So really, really fun and super simple um, piece. Really, so really simple. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you're wanting to jump on the bargain bead box train, go to the description, click on my link, don't forget that promo code because it's super important. It'll save you a couple bucks. And you can get this one in the mail, guys. Be that fun. And then you can have this stuff too. All right, everyone. I'm sending you all my love. I'm sending all my prayers down south to everyone who is in the path of that um, hurricane. So you guys didn't need one back to back here. You didn't need one to begin with. But um, so sending out all my prayers to you guys. And I'm thinking of you all. I have so many friends down there and I'm genuinely worried about them and I'm worried about you guys. And please just, when this is all said and done, please let everyone know that you're safe and that you're okay. And um, keep your faith strong, guys. You'll get through it. I know you will. I'm sending you all my love. Bye.